Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Tech King Mike back with another video for you guys. And today, we are going to be installing the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now, taking a look around the package real quick, I always buy these screen protectors for every phone that I use that I can use them with. They're for flat displays, so obviously can't use them with the S23 Ultra, but iPhones, S23 Plus or S23 regulars, S22s, any phone that has had a flat display, I always buy one of these screen protectors for it. So as you can see, it's a two pack and it's for the front display. We got on the back here, easy installation, real glass, oleophobic coating, surface hardness, speaking case friendly. So let's go on ahead and pop this bad boy out, put it on the phone and let's take a look and see how it goes on and how it works. So we're gonna go on ahead and open up here at the top. And as you can see, there was a little bit of tape on the side, but we're gonna go on ahead and just peel right past that. And we're going to pull one tray out. So here we go. And this is what your tray is going to look like. So I'm going to flip the fold over. Obviously, I've got a little microfiber cloth here already to help me clean it up. I'm going to put this down on top of it just to protect the back of the phone. And you're going to basically put it on the phone just like that and squeeze it down once you do. And that's how you're going to get your screen protector installed. Now, this is not going to be full, complete coverage over. It's just going to mostly be over the screen. I don't know if you guys can tell through the tray, but there is a little bit of gap between the actual screen protector and the bezel around, but that's just so that it works with cases as well. And this should work generally with any case that you use. Now, taking a look inside, like I said, we do have a second tray, and we also have a little bit of a kit here. There's the instructions, and let's see if I can get it out of there. We've got a kit that has all of our accessories needed inside of it. So what do we have inside of here? We have two lens wipes, one for each screen protector. So we'll just peel one of those off. We've got a microfiber cleaning cloth. We don't need one of those because I've already got one here. We have some dust removal stickers. Now these are gonna come in handy to help take dust off of the screen to make sure that there's nothing underneath the screen protector when we apply it. And then of course you have your QR code, how to remove the bubbles if you have any you have any struggles. Got the squeegee, press the bubbles out, get it nice and flush. And speaking of squeegee, we have a squeegee. So I'll file all of that over here to the side, and we're gonna go on ahead and put the screen protector on the phone. So first things first, we're gonna give the phone a nice clean. So like I said, I already had a microfiber cloth here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the phone a nice, good, thorough clean, get the fingerprints off of it and hope that my first day of using this phone outside of the house, even though I didn't have a screen protector, hope that nothing happened to it while I was out. I don't think anything did. I'm usually really good with my devices, but we're just gonna make sure we get this really good. So as you can see, it's really clean. Got as much of those fingerprints off of there as I could. A few down there at the bottom. I just wanna make sure it's nice and tight and good and clean. And boom. I don't see anything on the screen, not a single scratch. So I'm gonna assume that we did pretty good today. But we're gonna take this lens cleaning screen wipe. It's got a little alcohol to it, you know, a little alcohol. So we're gonna add this just to give it a little bit more of a good wipe down because you really wanna make sure that your screen is good to go before you put the screen protector on it. So if you need to use this to kind of just give it a really good wet wipe, go ahead. And folks, I am doing this from behind the camera, so I'm going to try to make sure that I do this the best I can with no issue. So forgive me if it's a little bit off-centered. I'm just trying to make sure that I do it right. So with this wet wipe, we're just getting it one. Just getting it some really good, good wipes here. Just making sure we're getting everything off the phone. And then we're gonna go back to the microfiber cloth just to kind of touch it up afterwards. Now that we've got everything off of it. Now, generally, what I would like to do with a screen protector is I would use like a can of uh, compressed air just to kind of get it all off of the, like get all the dust off of the screen. But in this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and do it Spigen's way. So I'm gonna use these dust removal stickers. So first off, I'm gonna peel that off and I'm gonna just hit a couple spots here where I see dust on the phone. So I'm gonna just gingerly just tap the phone get that dust off of it where I see it. See it in a few places. Just wanna make sure that I'm doing my due diligence just to get it off of there. And I'm probably gonna order another pack of these just to keep on standby because like I said, I'm a devout user of the Speaking Glass DR Easy Fit cases. I stand by it, I stand by it. 
Now that I've used the small one, I'm going to use this big one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just go down the phone one by one. I'm just going to go down each section of the phone with this one just to make sure that I'm getting everything off the screen before I get started. And now it looks like I'm pretty good to go. I see a little bit up here at the top. So everything looks to be good from my end. So we're going to go on ahead and put the screen protector on. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick it up, peel off the back here. So grab that orange tab, peel off the back and boom, press down on, it says press and slide. So I'm going to pick the phone up and show you guys. We're going to press and slide. And you can kind of see in the background where the screen protector is like adhering to the phone. So it says press and slide, wait for 30 seconds. So we're going to just press it down here. Just, just to give it a little bit more. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to clean off my cameras on the back since they've been rubbing against the desk this whole time. Looking forward to getting a case for this phone. I really want to get a good clear case for it. That's completely off topic. But man, you got to get a clear case with this color. Because I mean, look at this beautiful color. Carolina blue all day. Tar Heel Nation. All right. So I think this has been about 30 seconds. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold it down here on the center just to make sure it doesn't pull up anything. I'm going to grab down here from the bottom and I'm going to pull up. Take that off, take the actual tray itself off, and I'm going to put that over here because that's trash now. And as you can see, we've just got this last layer. So I'm going to peel that layer off, and boom. So this is pretty much it. So as the as the as it said, as the uh, as the card said, I'm just going to use the squeegee. And I'm just going to get all of these little bubbles and stuff out. So this big bubble right here, I'm going to give it some good pressure. I'm just going to push that bubble right on out. I'm going to come down the side here, make sure I get it on the side. And then I'm going to go over here. And we're going to make sure we get this one here out as well. And now what I like to do from here, I'm going to cut the phone off just so that way it doesn't come back on. What I like to do from here is just give it one more good wipe down with the microfiber cleaning cloth. Sorry for hitting the camera. And you can use the wet wipe. So I've got the wet wipe here. So... I'll just use the wet wipe just to kind of give it a little bit more friction friction just to make sure we're really getting everything everything sealed and everything done and boom this is going to be it guys so this is the spigen glass tr easy fit screen protector for the galaxy z fold 5 as you can see up top you got a little bit of a lip as you can see on the bottom, same thing, got a little bit of a lip, but this is going to go good with the case, as you can see. Let me go ahead and make sure that there's nothing on screen crazy here. I'm going to pull up the place. I'm going to pull up the Play Store. I'm going to turn dark mode off just so you guys can get an idea. As you can see, pretty much covers the entire screen, and it fits perfectly. So if you're looking for a good screen protector for your phone, I would highly recommend the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit. Uh, it's going to run you about $17.99, but you may be able to catch it on sale. You know how Amazon works with a 5% special. So definitely check it out. I will have a link down below in the description for you to pick this screen protector up for your Z Fold 5. And make sure you check it out and give it a go. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about it. Pick one up for yourself. And also, just talk with me down in the comments. Love to chat with you guys, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. It's your man Tech King Mike. Peace.